We're back at the Bolarama in Sanford, Maine for a second round match in this Pro Series Singles Knockout Tournament. In this match, the number 19 seed Gary Santora is going to be going up against the number 3 seed Craig Holbrook. Gary had a 6.33 in the qualifying round and Craig had 7.03. Craig will be starting on lane 18 and finishing on lane 17 as the higher seed. He had a choice of lane. And Craig starts off with a 7 drop, leaving the 1 3 6. Gary takes out 4. Now both of these guys, I'm sure, are quite familiar to fans of Candlepin Bowling because Craig Holbrook is the defending Pro Series Bowler of the Year and also winner of the uh, Pro Series Playoffs this past year. And he's also a member of the Maria Subs team that has won the World Invitational Team Tournament a couple years ago. And I think Craig probably has more Pro Tour wins than any active bowler going back to the WCBC Tour. And Gary Santora, as you know, is a standout on the Western New England Tour, as well as the Senior Candlepin Tour. He's been Bowler of the Year on the Senior Tour a couple times. And Craig with an 8 drop on that spare that he recorded in the first box. He's got the 2-4. Gary just misses the head pin to the right, taking out 5, leaving the 1 Two, four, five, and our one, two, four, seven, and ten. Four horsemen left plus the ten. Craig with another spare in the second box. So Craig is out to a flying start, and that goes for Gary Santora. Really nice shot there. In slow motion, you'll see that the ball runs down the one, two, four, seven, and then this pin, which I think was originally the two pin, rolls over into the ten pin and takes it out for a spare. That's a nice shot. Craig Holbrook bowls in the Friday Night Pro League, among other places. He bowls with the um, team representing 20th Century Lanes in Hyde Park. Gary Santora bowls out of Mohegan Bowl in Webster, Massachusetts, and also Colonial Lanes in Worcester. Both guys hitting the headpin pretty solid in the in the third box, but leaving splits. So both guys are going to be open in the third. Greg Holbrook takes an eight. That gives him. 41 through 3, and Gary Santora also with an 8. He had 31 through 3. Craig misses the head pin and leaves the same split that Gary Santora just converted a couple boxes ago. Four horsemen left plus the 10, and Gary leaves a big 5. 3, 4, 6, 7, 10. Craig goes by the head pin, takes out everything except the head, head pin. So they'll both be open again in the fourth. Craig with a 10 box. And that's going to be a 7 for Gary. That ball was just off the edge of the lane. So through four, uh, Craig Holbrook has 51 and Gary Santora 38. I might mention that Gary is also a regular in the World Invitational Team Tournament. And Gary has another nice head pin hit that's almost identical to the one he just had and, and leaves almost the same lead. Craig with a spare in the fifth, converting that two pinner, three six. Yeah, so Gary will be open. He's had that's three splits in a row. 
He'll take a nine. So as they switch lanes, Gary comes over to lane uh, lane 18 and, and Craig goes to 17. We'll take a look at the scoreboard. You can see that Craig Holbrook has a 14 pin lead plus whatever he gets on his fill ball. He's got 61 plus a ball to 47 for Gary Santoro. And you really don't want to let Craig get too far ahead because once you do, it's Katie bar the door. And Craig drops seven on this pair, leaving, he's got the one, three, and seven with some wood behind the head pin and also another piece of wood that's sort of in front of the seven. Gary Santora converts the one, three, six for a spare in the sixth. And it's a spare by Craig Holbrook. So let's have another look at it. Craig hits the head pin pretty full, but thanks to the wood behind the one and three, that uh, spare goes down pretty quickly. Both bowlers with spares in this sixth. And Gary goes a little bit to the left, dropping just three on the spare. That gives him 60 through six. Craig Holbrook with a six drop. So he's got a 24 pin lead through six, 84 to 60. Gary with a good ball, but can't catch a break. He just took out the one and nine. And there's a, another spare by Craig Holbrook. You'll see how he uses this wood to convert the five, six, nine, ten. And if you look at it really closely, the wood actually took out the five, six, or the five, nine, and ten. And the ball took out the six pin. In any case, it's a, another spare. Uh, three consecutive spares for Craig Holbrook. And Gary Santora with an eight drop, leaving the three six. And there is a strike for Craig Holbrook. Wow. This is just high flush in the one-two pocket and it really goes down quickly. So Craig Holbrook is uh, definitely in the driver's seat. You don't want to be his next round opponent because Craig is, he's really got his game dialed in. Gary will take a nine in the eighth. going to be another strike for Craig Holbrook? Yes, it is. It's a double. And if you look at this one, it's another one-two pocket hit. It's a little bit lighter than the, the other one. The head pin goes to the sidewall and kind of mixes around with those other pieces of wood. And the head pin is actually the one that ends up coming over and taking out the five. So that's a double strike for Craig Holbrook. Gary Santora picks that 10 pin for a spare in the ninth. <laughs> and Gary is going to add seven or eight actually. And Craig is not able to get a triple strike, which he did a while back in the Pro Series playoffs. And this was a kind of a light 1 3 pocket hit, but he, he gets eight giving him 132 through 8, and he's got the 7 and 8 and the 10th, and he's got it. So Gary Santora will finish up, and Gary finishes with a 9 box for a 104 game, and he congratulates Craig Holbrook, who is going to be, well, he's got 162 with one ball remaining. And Craig adds a six fill, so that's a 168 game. And you'll see the, the scoreboard here. Gary Centaur with a 104 and Craig Holbrook with a 168 game. 
to move on to the next round in the pro series knockout.